Hi, it's Louise, Louise Tan Stokes from the Anti Dieting Revolution. And this week I wanted to talk about managing festive eating. So, this is for you if you are dreading the whole um, festive season coming up with all the, you know, the overeating and the weight gain. Or maybe you're thinking, I'll just stuff it all, I will do what I want and then sort it all out in January. So I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can enjoy all the festive eating and still feel in control of your eating. So this is um, some of my tips to help you manage the festive season with all the parties and the meals out and all the yummy festive food. Okay, number one, the first tip I want to share with you is to ditch the guilt. Okay, when we feel guilty about our eating habits, it just leads to more overeating. So it's time to ditch feeling guilty about food. Remember, no food is good or bad. It's absolutely okay to en enjoy the food that you love, even if you completely overdo it and um, you eat way too much. Maybe you start Christmas Day with chocolate for breakfast and then you just eat all day long, you drink too much alcohol and um, just remember it's just one day, okay? Draw a line and move on. Um, even if it goes on for a few weeks or it's the whole of the next month or two, remember the bigger picture, okay? Healthy eating um, and building healthy habits is about what you do most of most of the time okay it's what you do 80 percent of the time it's not what you do you know that one day where you had um two meals out because of you know the whole um christmas work dues or, or something like that uh, remember it's it's about the bigger picture okay so ditch all the guilt we don't want to do that that just that just leads to more overeating and the second tip i've got for you is to just this tweak what you normally do. So have a think about this time of year, how do things normally go for you? What is it you normally do? Is there something specific, um, anything that you could do differently? Okay, um, could you plan some kind of strategy to manage the challenges that pop up this time of year and um, the things that you think that you struggle with? Um, having a plan can just make all the difference. And you know what? Those little little tweaks really do add up. So have a think about what small tweaks you could make to what you normally do that would make a difference. So it could be thinking about your, you know, your physical activity levels. You know, maybe you just need to keep up the exercise. Maybe you, you drop the exercise this time of year and, and maybe you need to, to just keep that going. Um, could you have a think about whether you need to have the treats all the treats in, in the house, you know, sometimes this time of year it's easy to buy in all of the different treats, all the lovely things that are available. Um, could it be, you know, having a think about those, all the, the kind of the work parties, you know, the Christmas do's and, and um, buffets and things like that. You know, have a think about what you do normally. How could you tweak that a little bit? So maybe you're booking in for... for um, um, deciding what you're going to have for your Christmas work meal out or something. Do you need to have all of the courses that are available? Could you just pick the ones that you, are your favourite? Do you have to have all three courses or even more? Um, so think about what you normally do and just tweak it a little bit. Just doing something different means you get different results, okay? And the third tip for you is prioritize your favorite things okay so think about um all the, the the food that you love this time of year and just think about um do you need to have everything do you really need to have all of the different food things and um, all of the different treats instead prioritize your favorite things so it's all about trying to get the balance between you know enjoying yourself enjoying the food that you love and completely overdoing it finding a balance between those two things. How could you make it easy for yourself? You know, do you really need to have loads of tubs of chocolates and, and all the fancy biscuits in the house? You know, I get a lot of clients say to me, um, oh, well, I, I need those in um, in the house 
for the kids or for if visitors come round. But then who is actually eating most of those chocolates? Because often it, it's, it's my clients, they say they're the ones that are actually eating them. They don't really need to have them. Um, do the kids really need to have tubs of chocolates as well as chocolate advent calendars, as well as chocolates on the tree? You know, have a think about all the different food things that you do this time of year and decide what's most important to you and pick those, pick your favourite things um, to keep doing. So it's about prioritising um, what your favourite things are, doing the things that you enjoy most, OK, not thinking you have to do everything. And then my fourth tip for you is to practice mindful eating. OK, so this is all about um, taking your time over food. So when you when you eat, give yourself time to savour the flavours and the textures and um, you know, really take your time to eat and enjoy the food. Um, learn to listen to your, your body um, so that you're following your appetite, you're, you're listening and you're following your hunger cues so that you're um, you're less likely then to overeat, you're less likely to have more than, than you actually need. And it's also about, about um, continuing to aim to nourish your body with well-balanced meals, so you're giving your body what it needs, so then you're less likely to be, you know, picking at, at the extra bits in between and, and snacking and um, and overdoing it. Um, also remember to drink plenty of fluids, you know, if you're going out having a... Um, um, festive drinks or something, try and alternate between alcoholic um, drinks and then non-alcoholic drinks, go for water or soft drinks instead. Um, it's also about planning, you know, look at menus before you go out for a meal and think about what would be um, the most appropriate kind of choice for you. Avoid letting yourself get too hungry before you go out for meals because then you're more likely to, you know, <laughs> completely overdo it and just pick way too much food or pick the least appropriate thing for you and, and then um, overdo it. Again, listen to your appetite. You know, it's fine to overdo it. What I, like I said before, it's not the end of the world if you, if you overdo it one day. Draw a line, move forward, really listen to your appetite for the next day or two and you'll notice that you won't need as much. You, you know, maybe have smaller portions for a day or two. If you really listen to your appetite, it will, things will balance out, okay? So, just to recap then, there's no need for guilt. Ditch all that guilt around eating and remember the bigger picture. Um, have a think about what you normally do this time of year and, and just ask yourself, how could you do things differently? How could you tweak things a little bit? Um, try and prioritise your favourite food-based things this time of year. And try and practice mindful eating because that really does make a big difference. Helps you to enjoy the food um, but still feel in control of your eating. And of course, remember to get in touch if you are ready to um, get started in ditch dieting forever. I'm here for you. Just get in touch. Um, and remember, check out my freebies. Um, the links will be below or they'll be in the main blog post. It's time to ditch dieting forever because you absolutely deserve better and you absolutely can Enjoy the food you love this time of year and still feel in control of your eating. Take care and I'll see you soon.